Hey guys, Movie Lore here. I'm back again with a new tutorial. Uh, today we're going to learn how to edit portraits uh, so they can fit perfectly for your uh, for the Warzone screen pack. Right here is a video of my Mugen uh, roster using the Warzone screen pack, and a lot of my fans have been asking me uh, how to uh, customly uh, fit um, the portraits into the screen pack. So let's dive into this tutorial. All right. So right here we're in um, Adobe CS5. Um, for starters, we are going to uh, download a character, which I just did. Um, the character we're going to make a uh, portrait for is, of course, the Hyrule Hero himself, uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. Um, what we're going to do is um, find a character that you want download the character, then find a picture perfect for the character, and then we're going to uh, open up Photoshop and uh, import the, uh, the portrait or the picture here. Alright, so we have Link right here. What we're going to need to do is, we're going to have to go to the Warzone screen pack, wherever you saved it at, and we're going to go to the Warzone portrait template. Now what you want to need is, you want to click on the big folder, and you want to uh, upload Big portrait and build, and right here is the uh, font that comes with uh, the screen pack. So you will need that as well. If you guys know how to do that, the install fonts, then you have to go to the start menu, uh, go to comp my computer, go to the C drive, and go to Windows, and you'll find the font folder. Just drag and drop it in there, and it'll install the uh, Street Fighter 4 uh, font here. So we're gonna take the big portrait, and we'll take the big. Uh, you know, the build uh, file and we're going to put it up on Adobe Photoshop which I have here already. We have the big portrait and we have the build portrait. I put the big portrait first so it's a certain order like how of you know like how I like to do things here. Big portrait is going to be the very last thing that we're going to do. So we have to build up to it. And we have the build portrait which is your you know important portrait right here. So first what we want to do is we want to take Link or whatever character that you're using. We want to take the character and first, what we're gonna do is, um, cause I wanna, I wanna actually try to get it just right. You notice they have the orange outline over the character and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see if I have the orange outline here, styles, and see if I have it. Nope, that's not it. Don't want that. Undo. Click this. Go to styles. It's something I already put together already. Like I remember where everything is at since I done this in a long time. Nope. Alright. So what we want to do is right here we have to copy this style. Alright. Copy layer style and we're going to put it right here. We're going to paste the layer style on link. There we go. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Link. This it may get a little tricky, so if you guys are aren't familiar with Photoshop, then this is gonna be a little a little hard for you guys. And this tutorial is not teaching you how to use Photoshop, so don't come here expecting a lesson on Photoshop. Um, I'll make a, a separate tutorial on that later. But it's for people who are familiar with this with this uh, program and pretty much you know understand what I'm doing. So after that. We want to just take link. We're gonna to go to the uh, move tool right here, and then we're gonna click on link. We're gonna drag them over to the build tab up here, and then we're gonna drop them on top of Ryu, just like this. Now, what we're gonna do is we want to just adjust the size a little bit. So we're gonna to go to edit, and then we're gonna to go to transform, and we're gonna to go to scale. We're gonna scale link down just a little bit, a little too big. Don't want them to be that big, and just make them look a little, just a little. All right, this 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 is good enough for Link. All right, so after that, what we want to do is we want to double click on him and we hit apply. So now he's there. Now you know it's Ryu still in the background, and Link is on top of uh, Ryu. It's because these pictures are broken into layers, which I'm about to get into right now. Like I said in my previous video with thumbnails, you have your layers. Whatever layer is on top of a, uh, another layer, that layer has higher priority, which means that Link, which is layer one, is on top of Art. 
which is Ryu. So since his lair is on top, Link has higher priority, so he's on top of Ryu. So you're pretty much using Ryu as a guideline to where you want to sit um, Link. So we don't want, uh, we, we pretty much don't want Ryu there anymore. So you can pretty much hit the eye drop right here to turn him off. I don't want him, I don't want him there, period. So, because it distracts me too much and I don't want to make a mistake. So I hit the trash can and get rid of Ryu, period. So, next, we want to change his name. His name is already in place already. All we gotta do is just edit Ryu's name and put Link in place of that. So what we can do is we hit the Ryu text layer right here and we're gonna go to the text bar on the left panel, click it, then click on Ryu name, change it to Link. Okay. Now, another thing we want we we're gonna want to do is too. We want to we want to flip Link over a little. We want to flip Link over. We flip his name over. We're gonna go to tra edit, transform, and we're gonna go to flip horizontal. Flip him that way. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Link, go back to the layer, go back to Link. Alright, let me go to the background on like that. We go to background layer, hit edit, go to image, and we go to image rotation and flip. Bam. There we go. We have link. Okay. So now what we what I just did was I had to make link name and I had to do a horizontal flip. So when I flip the entire portrait itself. Link is facing on the left, and the and the word and Link's name is, is correctly uh, positioned just right. So now what we want to do is go back to the layers, make sure everything is properly placed. Okay. So after that, what we do is we take Link entire portrait because these are broken in layers. So we can't drag Link over until we flatten the Link uh, flatten the layers out. So we go to layer. And we go to flatten image, so it's all one image. See, the layers are gone because it's one image. We're gonna take the move tool, drag the move tool over, drag link over, and we're gonna pop it on top of, of Ryu. There we go. You can't see him, it's because he's both he's in a, a lower layer. Say he's layer one. We want him all the way on top so you can make him visible. So we take layer one where link is at, and we drag it all the way on top of both the Ryu pictures. So there you go. So to make sure they even lined up, this corner right here has to match this corner right here. So we take Link and we just plop it in place. That simple. Then we have to repeat the process again. So we go back here. We're going to undo what we did right here. We're going to undo flatten the image. So we're going to step backwards and bring this all back. It's not flat no more. Because then now what we have to do is we're going to take Link and we have to flip him back over again. But first we're going to take his name and we want to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal back to this direction. Then we're going to take the image, the background image, go back to layers, background, image, image rotation, flip horizontal. Bam! Just like that. Now we have link again. We have everything flipped properly. Now we're going to repeat the process. We'll go back to layers, flatten image, go to move tools, left click on, on the picture, drag it over to the big portrait, bam. Make sure this corner is, is lined up with this corner, just drag and drop. Bam. There we go. Now we have a portrait that's ready. Now we have to convert it into a certain file so Fire Effect read, can, can read it and be able to process this just right. So we have the file, we want to save it as I put it, I made a separate folder, you know, for my uh, portraits inside the Warzone screen pack. I, I, made, I made a folder called My Portraits. So all my portraits go here. So we want to save it as a BMP. There we go. BMP file. And link. Save. Save it as a 32-bit. 
okay? Because BMP and PCX are files that uh, Fighter Mook and Fighter Factory, you know, accepts. Okay, so we hit OK. Alright, so this is the end of the first part of this tutorial. Now we got to upload Link into Fighter Factory and change his portrait with this portrait to fit for the Warzone screen pack. So, let's test it out. You open and you just find the folder where the character's at and then you just click on the death file to bring up the character. Next, after that you hit the sprites tab or the picture right here and it will take you right here. You have to look for his portrait. Normally they group that 9000 um, index to wherever the port that's where the, normally the portrait is at and we have to import uh, the portrait that you just made. So you basically hit the palette tab right here and what we want to do is we want to open up hitting the PCX folder and we have to load up our portrait. We load it up and you find the folder wherever you save your custom portrait at which I saved here at the uh, or my po my portraits and we're going to look for link. Alright, let's scroll down some more and keep going. Oops. There we go. Link. He's right here. We open, put him in, put an image, open link again on this side here. I really can't explain like <laughs> exactly what the what in the world that I'm doing right here I just know that this is what you have to do I don't really can't really give you a full explanation of why it's because fighter factory is not really good tutorial real good tutorials on what everything really means so this is from trial and error and it worked and you open up link right here and what you need to do is you need to save hit the save PCX uh, disk button right here you save it you change it into PCX and you name it link hit the save button BAM next what we do is we close out and we open the PCX right here and we look for link the new file that we just made right here BAM do you want the crop? no Hit ignore there we go next what we do is we save the SFF uh, save as an SF uh, file hit save BAM and there you go it's completed don't don't worry all it did was erase the background and everything which means you have it correct you hit the save SFF and let's see how it looks in fighter uh, let's see how it looks on the uh, warzone screen pack to see if it's correct Alright guys, I'm here. This is the uh, Warzone screen pack that I downloaded. So let's, let's see if uh, Link's portrait is uh, in place. Alright. Now we, if you follow the instructions the way it was supposed to be set in place, uh, your portrait should be just fine. So here's my screen, uh, here's the screen pack with the characters that I downloaded and all the portraits of over, all, over 80 characters. Took some time to do. And here's Link. His portrait was in place. Um, he edited it the way that I edited it that you see in this video. And um, I hope this video was useful in some way. If you have any uh, questions, just uh, hit me up in the uh, uh, comment box. But I advise you to watch the video over and over again before asking questions because I may have answered your questions in the video. But I hope this is useful. I hope I explained it in great detail. Um, like I said, if you guys have are not familiar with uh, Adobe Photoshop, then this video is going to be pretty much hard to follow. Uh, this is Moving Lord. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, stay tuned for more uh, Moving uh, Moving previews and reviews um, in the coming days. This is Moving Lord signing off.